This is the SEMA Sport SR47. I'll be reviewing it and finding out if it's worth the price. So straight out of the box, it comes with one high cap mag. There's a few different styles to choose from, but I went with the 13 inch M-Lock handguard version. The handguard is polymer, the lower receiver is polymer, and the upper receiver and stock are also polymer, but the outer barrel is full metal as well as the buffer tube. Moving on to the trigger, and this is where the gun really shines. If we put it on semi, this is the best trigger I've seen on an airsoft gun. It has the smoothest, lightest trigger pull, and it has a decent response too. It's wired to the stock with a Dean's connector, but you can get an adapter so it can take regular airsoft batteries. The stock is adjustable, and it has four positions. It also has a QD sling mount. Moving on to the hop-up, it does have a proprietary hop-up, but the original hop-up that it comes with is not too bad. And the unique feature about this gun is that it's an AR platform that takes AK mags. So you have the standard AK style mag release, as well as the AR style. I have fielded the gun a few times as you can see from the dirt and it does perform pretty well. This is the same gun that I've used in some of our previous airsoft highlights videos. The motor is fairly fast with a decent rate of fire but that could be easily upgraded. The overall build quality is not the best, there's some rattle in the magazine, the magwell is a little bit flimsy and it's kind of just all polymer but it makes up for it in performance. It's definitely not the best gun you could take to the field, but it has really good value for only being $160. One thing that I forgot to mention is that this gun does have a MOSFET. When you plug in the battery, it plays a sound, indicating that the MOSFET has turned on. Here's the trigger response, and here's the fire rate on full auto. As you can see from the groupings on the target, we actually have some decent accuracy. Obviously, your accuracy can be determined by how well your optic or iron sights are zeroed in, or how much your hop-up is tuned. And I would recommend to get a mid-cap magazine like this, because it feeds better and there's no winding. Overall, it's a great beginner gun, and if you're looking to get into airsoft with something not too expensive, this is definitely a great option.